Hey everybody, I'm Will from Wild Body Movement and today I'm going to be sharing five tips to move with less pain and more comfort. Each of these is a pretty massive subject in its own right and um, so this is just a basic overview. For more information feel free to reach out and get in touch on any one of the uh, in any one of these tips. So number one is just to to move more, to move as much as you can without exacerbating the pain or, or making yourself feel any worse, but to to get as much movement in, in your body as possible. This is for lots of reasons. There's a thing called um, sensory gating where the sensation and feeling of movement actually blocks the, the pain signals. Um, and it's also movement is just so incredible for healing and, and everything that increases the blood flow, lubricates all of the joints, and it's just fantastic for your health in general. So whatever it is, whether it's just a short walk, like some like light stretching or anything, just whatever you can do, do it, do it as often as you can. So number two is rest deeply. Uh, not all rest is equal. Um, if we're watching like a action movie or something that uh, like we might be physically passive, but we still might be getting adrenaline spikes and other things sort of uh, going through our body and our nervous system that might be keeping us out from a truly restful state. So when you are resting, like try and put aside some time for really like literally just lying around doing nothing, just uh, really trying to get into a state where your body can fully unwind, relax, and that can heart start to heal and repair damage. So number three, separate to just getting um, like getting what lots of deep rest, is getting some good sleep. Um, and we may not all need the eight hours that is sort of tailored as the golden number for what we what we need but depending on your personal sleep patterns like anywhere between six to eight hours a night should be enough and try and get that as regularly as possible like and try and minimize the amount of um, nights that you that you miss that and like you miss your bedtime I, our body's circadian rhythms are like we like to follow a routine follow a pattern uh, so if you have a particular bedtime your uh, body will get used to releasing growth hormone and stuff at a particular time I've got a friend that talks about missing the sleep train um, and that is kind of a thing that if you if you miss that time your body will miss that release of growth hormone which helps with repair and helps with uh, your joints and, and all of that so trying to keep regular with your sleep will make a big difference number four is to eat less processed foods. Uh, inflammation can have a really big impact on chronic pain and, and pain in general. And um, one of the easiest ways to try and reduce the amount of inflammation is to reduce the amount of highly processed sugary foods that you're eating. Uh, it's best to try and stick to whole foods, plant-based if possible, but that's not necessarily as important as just staying away from the sort of ultra processed sugary snack junk foods. Number five, the last one, possibly in my mind the most important, is to work on your awareness of how you're moving, how you're feeling throughout the day, and taking that time to check in and build up the skill of being able to feel into your body. I think this is so important because often, not always, the um, can be an element with, of, of pain where there is something that a habit that we have something that we're doing that is causing this and keeping it to to stay around and keeping it with us and if we can identify that and then change that that movement pattern that habit it's amazing how quickly chronic pain can go away this is what happened for me and it's happened for like lots of other people that I've worked so as I said at the beginning each one of those is a pretty big topic in its own right but if any of them speaks to you, just dive into it, learn more about it and play with it in your own life and see and feel the effects for yourself that it'll have on your ability to feel great in your body and to move without pain and with more comfort. 
Uh, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch about any of those uh, subjects. If you want advice on how to move forward any of those, just uh, either comment below or get in touch via the website. Thank you very much.